Hi, I'm Bill Mosley, and you're in the horror basement with Jim Jam and Johnny Leroy. <laughs> Lick my plate, you dog dick. Welcome to the Horror Base, the Tennessee Horror News Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny Leroy. And as always, we got Jim Jam here with us. Jim Jam here, guys. What's up, guys? So, this is going to be our Thanksgiving podcast. So, uh, hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't. Had a happy Thanksgiving because this is coming out uh, after Thanksgiving. Well, everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Had uh, a happy Thanksgiving. Well, what does it matter? <laughs> you have one or had one it's the same fucking thing past and present whatever but if you don't celebrate uh thanksgiving well you're an asshole no you're an asshole they might not be from this country so why does that make them an asshole because they're not from this country you need to think before you speak jim jam you need to think before you speak sometimes yeah but they could live here and listen to this don't mean they necessarily celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, if you're going to be here, you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. You know you want some turkey, anyways, motherfucker. <laughs> they might eat enchiladas or something. Well, fuck, that sounds good, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather have enchiladas than fucking turkey. But if you... Turkey enchilada. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, that don't sound too good. What are we but doing? anyway, so if you uh, celebrate it, don't celebrate it. Hopefully you had time off from work. Yeah, hell yeah, enjoyed a long weekend. So that means tomorrow people will be off work and getting paid to be off, man. That's yeah, shit. I'm shit. Hope, hopefully that's you because that's me. Do you get paid for Friday too? Yes. Fucking shit. Yeah, we get paid for Thursday. Well, you only work four days. Well, you know, I mean that's a different I only story. Work, I only work six hours on Thursday, so I'm getting paid for eight. Yeah, so there you go, trade off. But Boy, uh, you're right. Just want to say uh. Thanks to all the supporters and uh, family and friends that support Tennessee Horror News and definitely the writers. I don't talk to y'all much, and if you're listening, uh, I do appreciate what you do. Jim Jam's the one that has all the talking to everybody, but I do appreciate it. Johnny well, appreciates it as well. Well, I don't really talk to him as much no more because Yeti has kind of took over. Yeah, but you're still kinda... in contact with people more oh, than yeah, yeah. Well, I still talk to I mean, to he him, was, but... so... But yeah, yeah, definitely thanks to the writers because for right now, as of right now, pretty much the reviews is all we got besides the podcast. Yeah, so. I mean, there's not much going on. It's holiday season too, so yeah, shit gets hectic, slows down, especially you know after Halloween. You yeah. know, I mean, you got the two months, two to three month ramp up to Halloween, and then it kind of dies because the holidays come, and then it's cold and. Well, but the horror movies are still out there. And speaking of horror movies, the not this coming weekend. Hold on, no. But in December, no. oh, uh, December ninth, tenth, and a, or eighth, ninth, and tenth, or ninth and tenth, or eighth and ninth. I don't know. One of those three days is uh, Krampus at Nashville Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. See it. It's it's almost as though the haunted houses and everything just keeps getting extended. Yeah, I mean they, they gotta make money, so. And um, we got invited. Uh, I guess everybody can go, I believe. But Slaughterhouse is gonna be open New Year's Eve, I think, because they're gonna celebrate into midnight, so you can party at Slaughterhouse. Speaking oh. of Slaughterhouse, uh, the the Cineplex is opening back up in December, right? Thought it opened. Yeah, uh, yeah. Weren't they shutting Dis- down the yeah, Cineplex Dis- for this month because of the Halloween, you well, know, the haunt season and all that? And weren't they shutting down? I think down? Ben and them went, went yeah. on vacation and all that. Yeah, but, but, yeah. I mean, but I'm saying but yeah, the December, Cineplex will be open back up with new movies. and Or not yeah. new movies, but, you know, they'll oh, have gonna different show, films. They're going to show and, Leatherface. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're going to show the... Hey, they're, they're supposed to show that Black... Uh, holler? Black Holler. I'd like to go see that. That's a local movie. I'd like to see well, that. I need to talk to them more and get more info because we're supposed to put something up on about them. 
But anyways, um, yeah, uh, Leatherface. If you want to see it in theaters, you can go and see it at the Cineplex. That's a prequel. Yeah, the the one that just yeah. come out. Yeah, prequel. That I thought was pretty good. It'd be cool yeah. to see it in a theater. Did you never see it yet? No, I didn't watch it. Well, maybe we should make plans to go see it in theater because we've never been to the Cineplex. We've been there, but we've never watched. Yeah, we've the movie seen there. it. We never watched the movie there. Well, uh, I mean, maybe. I have to Depends see on schedule. Day. Yeah, I mean that's the whole thing. Scheduling is the the issue at the hand. This weekend's gonna be the shit. Yeah, turkey tomorrow because today's Wednesday. We're doing this then, early to try to get because we got plans this weekend. Yeah, and uh, then Family eat more turkey and, Friday. And eat the last bit of it, maybe Saturday, and be fucking done with turkey for a year. <laughs> then head to Nashville. Yeah. Some green bean casserole, some turkey. You wouldn't eat green bean casserole, though. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. That sounds about like uh, appealing as... Um, no, it's delicious. You don't like green beans? I'm trying to think of... What's, what's that fucking... That like gelatin, like fruit cocktail thing for Christmas that people, they make. They make a gelatin fruit cocktail? Well, it's not a gelatin, but it. Are you talking about that? The fruit. Are you talking, oh it's, shit. It's like a little rectangle and people fucking hate it. It's just, oh no, that's fruit cake. Yeah, fruit cake. I don't even, it's I've never had fruit cake. Pretty much gummies is all it is. I've never had fruit cake and people say it's horrible, but I've never had it. So I don't know they how they keep it. selling it. So, yeah, that's what I don't understand. It's like, it how looks they, like it's got sell- gummies. But people make it because they no, it's not gummies. It, it's the green colored cherries and and oh. uh, red bright colored cherries and shit. I don't know how they get that shit dyed like that, but Ugh. they still sell the hell out of that stuff. Like they got a big display of it, you know. Like, I think people do it just to fuck, fuck with people. people. Yeah, I think it's just the no, gag. man. It's your old aunt Sally that you know what I'm saying <laughs> that, that bakes it and then everybody's lied to her the whole time that they like it. I love some fruitcake. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, yeah, Aunt Sally, it's real good. Oh, good. I'll make you an extra one next year, Tim. And you're like, oh, uh, fuck you. I was like, uh, Tiny Tim don't want no more. I'm Tiny diabetic. Tim, no. I'm diabetic. <laughs> I can't have that sugar. I'll make it sugar-free. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be even worse. <laughs> I, I, I'm allergic to gluten. I'll make it gluten-free. <laughs> that'd be fucked up. Damn it, woman, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah. But she's been lied to the whole time. <laughs> I've been lying to you for years. It fucking sucks. That's what old dude was telling me uh, at work that one time. Uh, uh, what's it called? Pie. Oh, uh, Asian. Not Asian. Japanese pie. And it, it's fucking. It's like a goddamn pecan pie <laughs> with uh, pineapple or coconut and raisins or some shit in it. That don't sound too good. No, that, the texture would be so fuck. He's like, oh my aunt, she makes like six or seven of them, <laughs> and nobody eats that shit. Like he's like, nobody eats that shit. Why would they make so many? Because everybody's lied to her the whole time. <laughs> she made it, and everybody's like, oh, this is great. This is great, auntie. And you know, and she she probably don't. Uh, she don't know. And she, everybody acts like it's good, you know. And so they take that pie home and throw it away. Loved it. That's fucked up. What? what are you gonna lie to them? Or are you? Well, I would you never hurt even, their feelings. Uh, don't waste your time, woman, because the fucking shit sucks. Yeah, but she ain't gonna tell your aunt that. I would. I just tell my aunt. Especially like when it. they're older. I, mean, you ain't gonna tell I don't them. care, dude. That's fucking disrespectful as hell. <laughs> well, See, this younger generation is disrespectful as fuck. No, I'm. Why am I gonna waste their time in cooking something that's not gonna be ate? Well, you don't. If you didn't plus, tell them in the first place that it was good, that's the problem. That's what people did in the first place. Well, I would never. I would. You aunt, would have never tried it. Yeah, no, my aunt. Well, see, there's a difference. Yeah, but, my aunt would know. Well, I don't like that shit. Sorry. Yeah, but if you tried it and he's like, "Oh yeah, this is good. Yeah, it's never. good." Like you're trying to lie. I, my face can't lie. <laughs> I eat something I don't like. It, I don't. Oh, that's how I was at the family reunion. I was eating some. I don't know what the fuck it was. Green beans and ham. I think it was a green bean casserole of some you sort. You say green bean? <laughs> yeah. and, and green eggs and ham. That's what it was. It, it was bad. I, about, I, about, I thought I was going to throw up in my mouth trying to get it down. <laughs> All right, I mean, I took a little bite of it and I was like, 
Oh, if my face, I, fortunately, I was facing the wall. I wasn't facing everybody else. My sister told me, she's like, that look on your face. <laughs> you was just over there like, what? What the fuck? What? What is that? Like, that's what the look on my face was like. What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, how? Are you wondering? Was you wondering? Yeah, I was like, how? Tasted? How? How did it taste like that? <laughs> like, I took, like, I said, what did it hand. taste like? I don't know. It's bad. It was bad. <laughs> like, I, I got a piece of ham first, and I was like, that's awfully fucking smoky. You know, like, that's a, I don't know, what the fuck? I tried a green bean, I was like, I don't know. Then I tried them together. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Like, together? Oh, God, no. And then I kept, then I, and then I tried another piece of, I tried another green bean, I was like, the fuck? How does this taste? How? <laughs> Why who, and how? Who fucked it up? I don't know. She was like, who made this shit? Well, I mean, it's a family reunion. I don't know half of them. You know, it's sad to say, but... I mean, because they're all older. So I imagine it was someone that was older and just... I don't know if they added liquid smoke to it. <laughs> if they used, like, canned green beans. Like, they canned themselves and they're just no good. I guess. I don't know. Like, oh, man, they're bad. <laughs> I now see my sister over there. She and she, down, no, no, oh, she, no. She had it on her plate, and I was, I was waiting. And I was like, yeah. you was I was like no, because <laughs> there's other people around. This one dude, he had a pile of it. Like, I mean, a mound. I didn't see if he ate it, but he had a mound of it on his plate, and I was like, hey, motherfucker, must have brought it. He must love it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he must love it. And I seen her. She took a bite of it, <laughs> and then the next thing I know. She put a napkin over it. She's done eating. <laughs> it was done. She didn't want no one to see yeah. it. She wasn't eating no more. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's a good idea. I'm going to put a napkin over mine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, we've been talking about food for a while. <laughs> but, uh, like you said, it's the Thanksgiving edition. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's not many movie, Thanksgiving movie horror movies out. I mean, there's a few, but. If Eli Roth would really make that. The Thanksgiving. Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. That was I don't know if y'all crazy. seen that trailer or the, you know, like, just, I guess, short movie film is, I guess, I, yeah, it it's looked, made out to be a trailer, but, dude, go to YouTube and watch that. Well, I'll put it in the link in the description for the YouTube or whatever, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, that is a, that's, just to be a two-minute trailer was good. This, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mention something real quick. You know, it's a fake trailer, but it would be a funny ass movie. Yeah, if they made it as hand job yeah. cabin. He's a, he's a he sticks his finger in it, licks it. Yeah, that's blood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fucking blood. You just touched a fucking dead body that had been chopped up. <laughs> I wonder if they. They make these fake trailers just in hopes people would like it so much that they would. Yeah, but people be... have loved it, and it's been since two thousand seven. Maybe you know, maybe it's just maybe like you know, last week when we talked, to Cameron, he said that it just takes so long. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you got to get funding. You got to get people to sign off on it. Yeah. Just like you remember watching Hand Job Cabin, right? No. The oh, trailer? The, the trailer, yeah. That movie looked like it would be, oh, I wish that's... Did that ever come out? No, it, it's just a, a fake trailer. Yeah, 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 that was a I parody. Think I, I think I tried to uh, get the person that made that to get on the podcast. And, I and that was just like a parody, right? Yeah, but... Oh, man, they were getting jerked like, off everywhere. <laughs> that ghost was they, jerking the fuck out of them. And then even at the end of it, the girl, she's like, I don't even have a dick! And she's... She's still jerking her. <laughs> but yeah, it, oh yeah, that movie. That's just or funny. That trailer. And it was like movie quality. Like they like they put some money or they put some time into that spoofy trailer or whatever. You can't be yawning. Was you yawning before? No, you can't be yawning right now. What's wrong with you? And then uh, there's, uh, of course... There's Thanks Killing. That, that has to be. I, well, I've never watched this movie. We watched the trailer, and of course, they're the only movie that's ever skipped their sequel. So they say maybe the fucking sequel. So there's not even. Maybe a, they made the sequel. So there's not a part two? No, there's not. 
like it goes from Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving three. My question is: Is did they make it and it, and they realize it sucked so bad they just had to fucking destroy it, and they yeah. just went to a three? Can't suck no worse than morbid. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't maybe, believe you'd say that. What about that movie? Uh, uh, smothered. Maybe it's. I haven't watched that. Apparently, if you go about Scooter or Scott. He said it's just the most terrible movie he's, or the shittiest movie he's ever seen. It was pretty fucking bad. I mean, yeah. at the end of it, Kane Hodder looks like he's got worms glued on his face where they glued a, one of his masks that he had in the movie. They put super glue and he put it on and he tore it off. So it looked like he just had skin, but it looked like fucking worms oh, dangling from his face. That's like a, a decent budget movie. Yeah, it's the dude that played... The blonde-headed guy from Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah. Bo or Luke Duke. Bo Duke. I don't know. Luke. Oh, I don't remember what you went. But uh, Thanksgiving come out in 2009. It had a $3,500 budget. And uh, it's about a murderous turkey. Oh, you can tell it had a $3,500 budget. And it's just a puppet, though. Like a turkey puppet. At the end of the... Well, why don't you do, like, uh, killer turkeys from outer space? That'd be pretty and like their, you know, like their gun, their wings, you know, can shit. hold guns and shit. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they move. Yeah. Like that. That's what. That's what needs to happen. And they come down. And I don't know what they need. Maybe they roast the people and 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 drink their blood or something like killer so, clowns, you know, instead of. Big, oh yeah, they stick the straws in. Yeah, the, they put them in the cotton candy cocoons and then shove the straw in there and drink it. Drink the blood. How would they drink? They don't have lips. How they drink? Water. They I mean, how they suck? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? How would they suck the blood out of them? I guess they would. I mean, just... they could cut it and... They'll... I don't know how they fucking drink. I don't know how a turkey drinks water. Maybe they just stick their... Bill? Is it Bill? Beak? Beak? Down there yeah, they stick, stick their bill. The <laughs> turkey bill. That's a duck, man. <laughs> Fuck you, Johnny. <laughs> But, uh, like, and so they come down, and you'd have to come to America because we're the only ones that celebrate Thanksgiving, so the rest of the world would be okay. <laughs> like, they just come down to fuck with us. Cause we're, we're, just so happen, America. But the that, problem is, is, like, they get to the turkey farms, and then they realize how dumb the fucking other turkeys are, so they probably just kill them themselves. So you have, like, alien turkeys killing regular turkeys? Yeah, because all the turkeys like in the in the you know the farms like they overbreed them and to make them their breasts as big as possible. They can by barely the, even fucking get around. By the way, this uh, this idea of Johnny's is copyrighted by yeah. us, so you can't take it. Yeah. If someone <laughs> makes my... if someone makes a, a turkey movie from outer space, you're getting fucking sued. Yeah, or just give me five percent of the. Yeah. You know, I'll just take five percent. Like I ain't I ain't trying to take it off. And then uh, the other 95% goes to Tennessee Horn News. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, can, you get nothing. But yeah. They ain't going to fucking make that movie. Fuck this. That look, it sounds like a shitty movie anyways. But they could even wear like the pilgrim hat. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fucked up. Like a little pilgrim hat on them. <laughs> They're coming down like really fucking trolling people. Destroying shit. They're spacecrafts and they're kung fu turkeys. <laughs> Killer kung fu turkeys. That might, for some reason, that brought me into your uh, your bio on a website talking about what was that kung fu that you? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what it was. Trailer park kung fu, trailer <laughs> foo or whatever. <laughs> I forget what that bio says. I'm gonna fucking read that bio. No, oh, no, no, yeah. That just. Go to Tennessee Hard News, check out the About page. That's all they need to know. TNHorror.com About. There's really no need to read the bio. I mean. Oh. But anyways, so they could be killer kung fu turkeys from outer space. See, Johnny had went to teach at the... Yeah, dude, this is going to be seat. really boring for you to read. You know what I'm saying? Like People don't want to hear that shit. Well, i got to find the word that you use for... It's trailer food, man, ain't it? 
Park Fu. Park Fu. What? <laughs> Johnny, I'm going to read just the thing. Johnny Roar grew up in the main streets of the trailer park. <laughs> yeah. This is where he taught himself park foo in the basement of his mom's trailer, <laughs> which is his version of trailer park martial arts. You got to use your surroundings, man. It's where you use the trailer park surroundings to your advantage. <laughs> yeah. Johnny was living large, traveling all across the U.S., to other parks teaching his techniques getting <laughs> free accommodation and other parks up, up until 2008 Poxy Pie incident what was that? Poughkeepsie Poughkeepsie Pie incident <laughs> yeah to read this you gotta read the rest of this shit it's only about page on our website yeah tnhorror.com this shit is I don't know that's Johnny uh, well hey We'll do a drawing and someone can come and Johnny will teach him park food. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to live in a trailer park, though. I don't live in a trailer park. Unfortunately. So why did our uh, intro, we quit using it coming live to you from the trailer or, or the basement of my mom's trailer? <laughs> I don't know. That's just, we was in the basement and now... We're in the attic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've moved out of the basement. But it's called the horror basement, so we, we got. Well, re- that's just how it stuck. That's how it happened. Does, is it now the, the no, horror no, attic? No, no, no. Nobody would know we're in the attic if you wouldn't fucking tell them. We're not really in the attic. It's just we're in the bonus room. We're in the studio. Oh yeah. Slash, we're hopefully going to get a building soon out back. So all this, and then we'll, we're going to try. I'm going to try to build a set for us when we do like a video. Have us a little set. Or we can just take the building over and just put our stuff in there. <laughs> put a heater, put one of them uh, air conditioners that's a heater and air conditioner at the same time. It has straight walls so we can hang the posters yeah. up instead of the fucking slanted shit. Yeah. We could get one, maybe two posters over there. Dude, all people along. can't see. Yeah, I know. Mm. Hey, we can put them behind us over there. Yeah. But anyway, so... Killer Kung Fu turkeys from outer space. Are they, and these turkeys are going to get trained in Park Fu? They already know Park Fu. Oh. They're fucking world-class well, Park Fuers. So, oh, so they're going to be like... They already know the shit. They've read my bio. They trained. <laughs> they looked at the YouTube videos. They're fucking there. There's YouTube videos of Park Fu? <laughs> they're, they're private. I had to give it to them, you know. <laughs> like, nobody can really see it. I, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to even t- be talking about this shit right now. They're unlisted. I so, mean, this is part of the court order. I'm not even allowed to talk about this. <laughs> I can go back to jail for this shit. <laughs> I had to stop teaching it, man. I, I mean, yeah. goodness gracious, dude. What are you trying to get me into? I, mean, <laughs> I just want to see some park food. <laughs> You get me to the trailer park, buddy. Get me <laughs> on, son. So I'm popping. Johnny turns into a crazed maniac. Yeah, I was a lot thinner back then, though. So when I first met I mean, Johnny, you, he lived in the trailer park. I mean, you was doing like you cartwheels over the tongues of the trailers, and I mean, you used everything. Could to you do, do a cartwheel? I, I can't even talk about this. Could you do a cartwheel over a trailer tongue now? No, man. No. Would you break? Back your... in the day when I was young, man. Dude, Ten years ago, I want to see a fat guy do a tra- uh, do a uh, a cartwheel Have and you watch his forearms girl? break. Did you see that fat girl do do the cartwheel? Like, and she she's like in a school, and she does the cartwheel, and, and she her legs is like she's. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say some hardcore shit like fucking no, 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 elbow. No, no, she fucking does it and just bam. Like, straight up legs fucking flat on the ground, dude. What, how would you word that on YouTube? <laughs> Fat girl doing cartwheel. <laughs> Fat girl cartwheel. I think it's a vine. Well, it'll be on here. Vine's oh, and then there's Blood Freak from 1972. Oh, Fat and Girl I- tries cartwheel and fails vine. Yeah, that's it. Oh, shit. No, that ain't it. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> God. Oh, oh my god! Fucking knees, man. And she's a big girl. Fat dude. boy breaks trampoline. Dude, we're not, we're we're doing a podcast. Get off your fucking phone. But anyway, so Blood Freak is from 1972, guys. And uh, I looked all this stuff up on the internet. 
And uh, this is from HorrorNews.net. But um, apparently this movie is really hard to get and or get a hold of. But it's about a guy with a turkey head. Look at this guy. 1972. There's a turkey movie? Yeah. Blood free. It's like a mutant turkey. But um, the only way you can get this movie is, of course, off the internet ways. Apparently, because you can't rent it. It's not on DVD. But, yeah. So, you know, it's about a deranged man with a mutant turkey head killing people. So, is he deranged to cut the head make him deranged? I guess. I mean, it's a mutant turkey head. It's not just a regular head. So, he found a mutant turkey and shoved it on his own head. I don't know, dude. I haven't watched the movie. It's from 1972. and I probably you think you could, The only way you can get it is illegally off the internet. Why would it be illegally? Oh, like... Because there's no other way to get it. Bootleg? Yeah, like a bootlegged. Like, there's no other way to watch it. I mean, I don't know. That's just what... What was it called again? Blood Freak. I shouldn't say illegally. I don't know if it's illegally. I don't know if this person did illegal tactics. I mean, he, he did... I mean, it's in his own article. Nope. You can buy it for 70 bucks on... Seventy dollars?! Fuck that, no wonder. He said, this is probably the hardest movie to find. I couldn't find it, local movie, online subscription. So he had to Here it is. all the internet. Thirty nine ninety five on eBay. Fuck, that is insane. And it's For a, a VHS. special edition DVD. Oh, wow. Forty bucks? I gotta, I'm gonna share this item. Forty I'm sh- bucks. I'm gonna share it with, uh... Share it with old Yeti. <coughs> him Scott. and uh, Dave. Phantom Dark Dave likes yeah. them fucking crazy movies. 40 bucks? I bet Yeti would be able to find it. He's like the king of... Uh... Yeah. But anyways, I don't know. I mean, there's not many turkey or killer turkey movies out there. Thanksgiving killer movies. So... There was one more. I mean, there is Thanks Killing 3. So, you know. Home Sweet Home from 1981. It's about a killer that escaped mental patient. That's an escaped mental patient who finds a family celebrating Thanksgiving and decides to kill them all. So. Hmm. Yeah. So it's like Michael Myers. But without the family aspect, yeah, like he's not going back to kill his own because he's escaped mental patient. Michael Myers was in a mental hospital. So they, they pretty much just stole the idea. Well, I mean, this is from Halloween. 1981. And look at the cover. Hey. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> but it's about Thanksgiving. So he kills him on Thanksgiving. So you better be thankful for all that you have because an escaped mental guy could come out. Or some killer turkeys from outer space. I know Kung Fu. Come and get you, man. I figure if someone did make a... that, I think it would be cool to make a badass pilgrim movie. That for Thanksgiving, instead of using just a turkey. Like a, I guess it would be a, a slasher. Well, that's what uh, Eli Roth did. He, that dude was a pilgrim. Well, I'm talking about an official movie, not just a fucking yeah. fake trailer. Well, what would be the theme for the... The pilgrim. Like why? But why would he be a pilgrim what, killing what people? What if it'd be kind of like he got possessed from a, a a ghost from that time or something? Maybe a demon pilgrim possesses a guy. What if a demon possesses a turkey? <laughs> why does it always gotta be a turkey? Cause it's Thanksgiving. My question is, Is do demons possess turkeys? Does that ever happen? Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I've never I mean, seen do that. Do demons possess animals? I mean, I don't know anything about demons. Is Pet Cemetery that? I'm just saying, like, real life, does demons possess animals, supposedly? I mean, they well, say there's demons. In real life, does, de- does demons possess humans? I don't know. That's what they people claim. If you're in the Catholic Church, they claim that they do. Oh my God, yes. I won't name no names, 
So there's someone that I work with that was out for a whole month. Oh, yeah. Because apparently their house was haunted. But they're Catholic, so they're firm believers and all that. And actually got a fucking FMLA to be out of work for apparent haunting. Well, you probably got the FMLA, though, for stress needs more than the haunting. You know what I'm saying? Like a medical need, like you're totally stressed out, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say that ghosts aren't real. Demons aren't real. I don't know. I mean, maybe thankfully I don't know. Yeah. I'm thankful. I don't know that demons are real. You know? Like, you know, that's a good Thanksgiving thank thing. Like, yeah. hey, that's what you should do. You won't be able to, you won't hear this before Thanksgiving, but next year, if you're the half the family that says, let's go around and say what we're thankful for. I remember we had to do that over when we go to my aunt's. Fucking ugh. But, uh, you say, I'm thankful that I don't know demons are real. Yeah. And then fuck with some people. Like, how hard could you fuck with people? Like, well, I'm thankful that I haven't been possessed yet. Yeah, that would be a good thing not to be possessed. <laughs> and then people look at you like, come on, Dave. For real, what are you thankful for? Thankful that I'm not a fucking asshole that's about to kill you, man. <laughs> <laughs> That would be one. I'm thankful that I'm not psychotic because I'd probably kill this whole family for making me fucking do this shit. Hmm. No, that's fucked up, ain't it? That's not a good thing. Guess what? What? It's on YouTube for free. Huh. Dave. Phantom Dark Dave. So guess what? It's on YouTube for free. <laughs> After Dave says it's hard to find and you just go on YouTube and find it. So it's not hard to find. Blood Freak, not hard to find. YouTube it. I'm going to send you the link, so if you if you're curious to watch it. I don't know if I'm curious to watch that. I mean, it'd be interesting to watch, I guess. I mean, so check out Blood Freak on YouTube, or The Predator will get you. I might have to check it out. Yeah, I mean, hell. Mutated turkey head. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, some people need to come up some, with some more uh, Thanksgiving oh, horror yeah. movies. I don't know what you'd come up with, though, really. Like, it's like a really specific theme. Well, is there, like, okay, we'll go into another holiday. Is, is there an Easter bunny? Well, I think we had one on the roof. No, that was little. Well, critters killed an Easter bunny. <clears throat> I remember that growing up as a kid. You know what stuck with me? It's not a horror movie, but the fucking Easter bunny and <clears throat> Bill and Ted's Excellent Journey. I, I, I watched the Excellent Adventure, I think. Is that the one? <clears throat> I watched the first one. I didn't watch any after that. Well, Did they, they have a two. second one? They're supposed to bring out a third one. Yeah, they're doing that here recently. But, um... I just know that Critters was around Easter, at least in the movie. I don't know if there... Is there an Easter? I'm sure there's an Easter horror movie. What about the Gigantic Rabbits? Where's that? The, there's a Gigantic Rabbit movie? Yeah, it's from back in like the 70s. Remember, we talked about this once, and they killed them all by... Oh, spoiler alert, with train tracks. I don't remember. I watched. I don't know how I watched all these movies when growing up as a kid. <laughs> like, Where did you get? Them? I don't know. Like they were just on TV. Cause I don't think there's like major killing. Like I think it's just on TV. Like old reruns. Somehow, I mean, you know, who doesn't like a big fluffy bunny? That's true. And but them some bitches were <laughs> killing everybody. But. Because then they, I think they had a giant spider movie back in the day. I don't know. Anyways, I, I guess. Uh, yes. That's all we can think of. Yeah. So uh, go like us, share us. 
subscribe to us on all. Yeah, speak you, to us, comment to us. Please comment. We want to hear comments. Call. It's not that hard. Okay. I'm going to rant right now. Oh, God. This is going to be a fucking crybaby rant. This is how everybody's okay. going to see it. Everybody's going to fucking hate this. Rant. On Horror Amino, anytime I post something, we get 10, 15 new followers every time. Well, that's because Horror but, Amino is a and, horror And likes. Yeah. No one ever comments. Same thing with Instagram. I think a lot of people are shy. Instagram, hardly anybody comments. They like the hell out of it, you know. You can go on. I can go on there right now and show you the likes. Well, you don't have to, because it won't be no interesting for people. But yeah, but look. But for me, none though, of those, and a lot of those are follows and likes, but hardly any of them are comments. But my whole thing is like, I, I like you. I don't even, to be honest, like YouTube videos. I don't give thumbs ups on a lot of them unless I do like them. And I like a lot of videos, but I don't give the thumbs up because I don't know why. Like, I just don't. And then I don't comment very often either because I'm afraid I'll say something and then people will turn it some other way and I don't really want that on the internet. You know what I mean? Like the one time that I put... um, Like, I don't like sharing stuff. Well, there's one time on the Tennessee Horror News, I was just kind of, you know, back when we was... Or, I was, not back, but, anyways, we, um, for, uh, what's that, the horror, not, the horror theme face stuff and bath bombs? I don't know. Oh, my God. Wait. What are you talking about, man? The horror beauty products? Yeah. I forgot the name of it. Oh, her? Amanda? Yeah. What the fuck was the name of her shit? Her, her products. No clue. Ghoulish Delights. Ghoulish. Oh, yeah. There well, all right. <clears throat> we ordered some stuff, and we got it in the mail. And I let my daughter, or I put my the ma- the tar mask on my daughter. I put a picture of it. I took a picture of it and shared it and tagged them. We had someone comment about, that's racist because it's blackface. Yeah, see, that's why I see. And it's, I'm like, it's stupid. It's a kid, and it's it's a pretty, it's facial pretty much, mask. It's a facial mask. Pretty much, it was a promo pick for Ghoulish Delights, and it said in a tar face mask. But this motherfucker wanted to pop off something saying that it was racist. Well, because people are sensitive like that. Everything's racist. Fuck you, you stupid fucking prick. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, yeah. I was going to say, go check us out on Facebook, but I guess you probably all fucking hate us now. <laughs> go check out teenhorror.com. Tell Jimmy how big of an asshole he is. But anyways, so hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Horror Amino. Follow us on YouTube and Horror Amino. And, uh, yeah, how many times you say Horror Amino? I don't know. Oh, what? yeah. Forgot to do... This is on Scurry Face Radio. Oh, yeah. And uh, check out Scurry Face Radio. That's all we got for you. We out. Peace. Peace. And just remember, kids, <laughs> there's no helping dope. <laughs>